Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan Deek, and thanks for tuning in to Effect Tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get started and a little bit of an introduction to how to, you know, use Effect Tricks and um, all of its tools. All right, so let's get started. I got that little drum loop happening. Uh, the drums are not that important in this uh, in this tutorial, uh, so we're just going to put loops. All right, so let's first prepare ourselves and get everything ready. All right, so let's drop in uh, synthesizer. I'm just going to use harmless. All right, and after doing that, you want to bring up the channel settings and put harmless on a track. So I'm just hit Control L, and it brings it to the next available track. So which is number three? Or you can move it this around and choose which one you want to go to. All right. So after you've done so, you want to go and insert effect tricks. So it's a VSD tool and uh, with a whole bunch of effects inside and you can lay down patterns and whatnot. So um, after bringing this up, you have two options. You can trigger effect tricks by using MIDI, all right? Or you can just press play and this will, you know, follow, all right? So I'm gonna show you both ways just in case you guys wanna do, you know, do both. All right, so what you wanna do for triggering MIDI is open up a MIDI out like so put port to whatever number if you want maybe you have multiple stuff uh, make sure Effectrix has its own number so I'm, I don't have anything so I'm just gonna use one go to Effectrix go to the settings button up here and then go to input port go to one so now they are linked together so now when I hit a note on the keyboard you can see Effectrix is on and moving and you have up to let's see here an octave of uh, patterns here so you know it's, it's enough right you can lay down different patterns different uh, speeds and whatever right so that's cool now if you want to just press play with your song you can also do that by turning this off so now when I hit play on my FL you can see that it moves along with it alright so we're gonna work with the first three it may be boring may not sound perfect yet but it might be too intimidating if I use everything. So we're going to do this in stages, all right? So the first three is what we're going to work with. We're going to go to Harmless, lay down something. I don't know. Does It can be anything. I'm going to just start here. And you want to keep it basic. If you get intricate and heavy on it, it will be very hard to use Effectrix. So I'm going to lay down something simple like that. And then... do an octave lower. Alright, there we go. So we have something like this. Cool. Really bad melody line. Alright. So, now what you want to do, go into Effectrix, alright, and we're going to lay down some cool little movements here. So, I'm going to select you know any of my three here or anything really and you can notice at the bottom it's changing colors it's changing effects so make sure you're selecting the right um, effect and you know you're laying it down properly because then you know sometimes I can hold on to stretch and then I wanna mess around with stuff and all of a sudden I lay down this I'm like what how come it's not making anything any changes It's because you're on the wrong on the wrong one right so make sure you're selecting the right stuff so we're gonna just test this out and see what it sounds like Okay, so it's cool speed. Now, if I want to change the speed, I just want to, uh, you know, move this little button here and um, maybe make it slower. I'll do something like that. All right, that sounds cool. Uh, let's do half of this. Make sure you don't overlap. Um, you know, because uh, this is your one, this is your two, three, four, or you know, depending on your tempo, right? You can change your tempo here. I can go faster. Play by note. All right, or I can go slower and divide everything into four. See, there's my second note in this section, third, then fourth, or I can go even slower if you want to. Cut everything in half and make things really cool. But we're gonna keep it on one eight time. So I'm gonna make this shorter, at least so it sounds, that sounds like. Cool. Let's uh, maybe add a scratch loop. This is like turntablism, uh, forward spin, right, and backward spin. That sounds cool. Let's add that again. And 
Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to overlap on my ones. I'm going to keep it there and keep it there. Cool. I'm going to go to my loop and mess around with my crossfader. All right, let's go into my X loop and see if we can mess any around with anything there and see what the default is. That's cool. Let's slow that down. Maybe 1 16th. And then we'll do something like that. So after that, you have a little, you know, introduction to starting effects. You can go ahead and, you know, add more things. But I'm not going to add anything because it's going to get, a, you know, really in busy and intimidating, right? So, and confusing. So we want to keep it simple for now. All right, guys. So that's the first bit of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. And I'm going to show you some more cool effects and, you know, kind of tweak it out and make sure everything sounds good. I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace!